Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're taking a look at my sim racing setup. In my opinion, the most realistic racing simulator you can put together without breaking the bank. I'm gonna start by saying from the start that I'm not an expert sim driver that participates in iRacing online tournaments. I have put together this racing rig for casual fun driving like Assetto Corsa or Competizione and Forza Motorsport 7, but I also use this setup for FPS games and I will show you how. It may be possible that the motion could increase your times on the circuit, but the point was not to achieve the fastest lap, but to have the most fun and drive in the most realistic way. When I say affordable, I refer to the main components of this setup, which are the racing cockpit, the motion platform and the ultra-wide monitor. Why affordable, I will explain for each of them. The next level racing GT track is the cheapest racing cockpit you can get that is comfortable, solid and customizable enough to support from the cheapest racing wheels to direct drive wheels and of course also the motion platform. It can be found for around 800 euros and for what it offers, I think it's unbeatable. The cockpit is constructed from high quality materials and features a rigid and stable design that is perfect for the intense gaming sessions. It's fully adjustable, which means you can find the perfect driving position for your body type and driving style. Another advantage is that it can be easily moved when needed as it has lockable wheels. The GT Track cockpit is also fully customizable, allowing you to add additional components such as a shifter mount, a handbrake mount a butt kicker or a keyboard and mouse tray. It's designed to securely hold the next level racing motion platform V3. The V3 motion platform is easy to install into the cockpit and once in place it feels incredibly stable and secure. The next level racing motion platform V3 is a state-of-the-art motion simulator that simulates the movements of a real car or airplane. The platform is capable of simulating acceleration, braking and cornering forces with impressive accuracy. The platform's range of motion is excellent as it uses a combination of electric and hydraulic actuators to simulate movement, which provides a smooth and realistic experience. The motion is precise and responsive, which is especially important for racing. It comes with software that allows you to fine-tune the platform movement to your specific preferences and create a truly personalized experience. Compared to other motion sims that can cost up to tens of thousands of euros, this platform achieves realism with costing only 3500 euros and in this price you also get the advantage of a major software solution that supports most of the games and receives frequent updates and fixes. Another big advantage of this setup is the small space you need in your room. It's only 55 cm wide and 1.5 meters in length. It's also quiet enough not to get distracting. The third important component of this sim setup is the Samsung Odyssey G9 monitor. The Samsung Odyssey G9 is a massive 49-inch ultra-wide gaming monitor with a resolution of 5120 by 1440 pixels. This monitor is a perfect addition to any gaming setup, but it's especially useful for motion simulators because of its ultra-wide aspect ratio. With a 32 by 9 aspect ratio, the Odyssey G9 provides an expansive view of the virtual world, allowing you to see more of the track or sky than you would with a traditional monitor.
In addition to its ultra-wide aspect ratio, the Addis AG9 is also a curved monitor with a 1000R curvature. This curvature mimics the curvature of the human eye, which means you can see the entire screen without having to move your head. This is important for motion simulators because it allows you to maintain focus on the track or sky without any distractions or discomfort. It has a fast refresh rate of 240Hz and a 1 millisecond response time. This makes it perfect for gaming as it reduces motion blur and input lag, providing a smoother and more responsive gaming experience. When used with the Next Level Racing Motion Platform V3 and the GT Track cockpit, the Addis AG9 provides a stunning and impressive visual experience that is unparalleled in the world of motion simulators. You can find the link for the full review of this monitor in the video description. It has gone down in price and you can now find it under 1200 euros. I know it sounds like a lot, but I think this is the best option for a realistic sim cockpit. Driving on this monitor feels like a car's windshield. Its price is comparable to having three separate 27 inch high quality monitors, but it's easier to drive by the graphics card and also takes a lot less space. My setup I'm using a Thrustmaster T500 RS steering wheel, which is pretty cheap but provides enough power for a realistic driving experience. This is one of the most used steering wheels for sim racing and it's used also by professional drivers. The motor provides a powerful force feedback of around 4.4 newton meters, and I did not feel the need for more. The precision is good enough but of course is not comparable to a direct drive wheel but again, we're looking at a great wheel that costs around 350 euros with pedals included. If the T500 RS wheel is good enough, with the pedals it's another story. I would not recommend to use the pedals included in this set, as they are very low quality and it takes away from the whole experience. For a dramatic improvement in driving realism, I'm using the Helsingveld Sprint pedals, which indeed are not cheap at all, as they cost around 800 euros, but I do think they're worth every penny. The Helsingveld Sprint are high-end pedals designed specifically for use in racing simulators. The pedals are designed to be incredibly precise and provide a realistic driving experience. One of the standout features for the Helsingveld Sprint pedals is their adjustability. The pedals can be adjusted for travel, preload and stiffness, which means you can customize them to your specific driving style. These pedals use load cells to measure the force being applied to them, which means they are able to provide incredibly accurate feedback. This feedback allows you to feel the nuances of the track and make more precise inputs, which can be a difference between winning and losing a race. Another great addition to this motion simulator setup is the Batiker Gamer 2. It's a high quality tactile transducer that provides a powerful bass response. The butt kicker attaches to your gaming chair and simulates the vibrations and movements of the vehicle you are driving or flying. It provides an extra layer of immersion and realism for around 200 euros. 
The Next Level Racing Motion Platform V3 and the GT Track Cockpit are a fantastic combination for gamers looking to create an affordable and immersive motion simulator setup. When used together with peripherals such as the Samsung Galaxy g 9 monitor, the Bulky Care Gamer 2, the Thrustmaster T500RS wheel and the Helsingfeld Sprint pedals, they can deliver a stunning visual and physical experience by providing realistic movements that replicate the sensations of driving or flying. Pair it also with a VR headset and the result is an unparalleled driving and flight simulation experience. So that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments what setup you are using for sim driving. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.